I'm a namaste guy, it's Christian Long, Life Enhancement Consultant, giving you a big and beautiful shout out from Breckenridge, Colorado, one of the top eight mountain towns in all of Colorado. Just drove in this morning, gonna be spending the day and a half here. No, one and a half day. One and a half day here. Looking forward to it. More time of relaxing, more time of bathing the energy body in beautiful weather. Karen, I'm a namaste. Tina, I'm a namaste. I'll give you guys a quick view in a, se- a second. Adriana, I'm a namaste. Um, this is downtown Breckenridge. This is Main Street. Uh, I've been to Breckenridge maybe five times over the past eight years. So this is not a mountain town that I frequent all the time, even though it's only about an hour and 20 minutes from Denver. Beautiful area. And uh, we're going to do our challenge from here today. And then we'll be doing our meditation from here today. We'll be doing our challenge review this evening and our meditation tomorrow. Um, The Airbnb is not ready right now. Um, I think we check in at like three o'clock or something like that. (laughs) Double, double. Um, So, Chrissy, I'm a namaste. Thank you, Chrissy, for, uh, for sharing the challenge. I appreciate that. May it benefit your friend. It may, it may further benefit more and more people. So I was thinking, racking my brain a little bit, and I was like, what's a challenge that we haven't done before? What's an area that we haven't worked on before or we need to work more on? And then it kind of dawned on me that, um, have you ever noticed that we, we do things habitually and we never really question why we do that very thing? And <clears throat> this could lead into many different uh, challenges in the future. But the one that I want to focus on today, this would be challenge number 47. Uh, challenge number 47 of the 60 challenges that we'll be doing. So get out your journal, your challenge journal, write out challenge number 47 is this topic. Um, set your timer on your phone for 15 minutes. And I want you to ask yourself the question or questions. What would world peace look like? How come we have not arrived at world peace? And what can we do to move in the direction of world peace? And this particular topic is near and dear to my heart because it's actually what started me on my spiritual path 21 years ago. Lori, I'm a namaste. And it's had many twists and turns, but the core energy, the essence is has always been and always will continue to be there of world peace. And I'll go into the the higher levels of truth and higher practices this evening when we do our challenge review. So the three questions I want you to ask yourself is what would world peace look like? Why haven't we achieved it? And what do we need to do in order to achieve it? So those three questions, and it's a huge topic. It's maybe the topic. It's the topic that the great ones have been focused on for eons and eons and eons and eons of time, literally. So it's not something that um, uh, that we can casually approach. It's it's the very essence of who we are as human beings, and the very essence of the divine plan. Sampath, Abba Namaste. So those are your questions for today's challenge. So it's a little bit of crown. Well, it's a lot of crown actually. A lot of crown, a little bit of forehead, heart chakra, throat chakra, um, mostly the upper chakras for today's challenge, the heart upwards. So not very much solar plexus, navel, sex, basic. Um, so this should put you in a very, very good place. Natalie, I'm a namaste. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So that is our challenge for today. Do you have any questions about today's 47th challenge? And I'll give you guys a quick view of what it looks like here in Breckenridge. So again, the three questions you're asking yourself is, what would it look like to have world peace related to John Lennon's famous song, Imagine, right? That's an aspect, Imagine. And part of the reason he came up with that song was the influence of Maharishi Mahesh Yogi in the 60s, interestingly enough. So the first question is, what would world peace look like? The second question is, why haven't we achieved world peace? And the third question is, what can we do to move in the direction of creating world peace? 
So those are your questions for today. Okay? So, you guys want to do a quick view, a quick tour, if you will. So this is this is Main Street. The cute little mountain ski lodges. The aspen see the aspen trees, the white trees. So these leaves turn all golden. Looks like million sparkling gold coins in the fall time. The end of Main Street. Uh, so the population of Breckenridge is about 5,000. The elevation is over 8,000, so 8,000 feet above sea level. Very clean city. Um, it's right next to three other major. It's right next to three other major areas, uh, major ski areas. So you have Copper Mountain. You have Keystone, which is a ski resort. You have Frisco, which is a ski resort. Um, there's horseback riding trails everywhere. There's uh, an amazing biking trail, which uh, there's several biking trails that you can pick up right here. There's a um, right where the Airbnb is, there's a gondola. See, there's one of the gondolas. And usually the gondola operates year round, but because of COVID, it's about 37 degrees out right now, but it doesn't feel like 37 degrees. Look, it's 37 degrees and there's people wearing tank tops and shorts. Because you're high up and the sun is very, very strong out here. Very potent. Subway sandwich shop with a kid, a tiny kid in their pajamas. Two tiny kids in pajamas. Um, Breckenridge is more of a party town than other mountain towns. So this is one of the most common places that people in Denver go to go skiing. But that's a little area, Josiah, and I'm a stay. Some pasta is really cool. So that's a little experience of Breckenridge. I have uh, the Every time I've come to Breckenridge, good memories, good experience. It's a beautiful mountain town. It's clean, relatively quiet. Um, whenever I've come here, whenever I've come here, it's been um, in the summertime. Tour de Christian. <laughs> What's the challenge today, bra bra? I already put the challenge out, son, but I'll repeat it because we had a couple people jump on. So that's not a problem. Ugh. Oh, that's nice. Hold on, everyone. -da -da. Yes, it's definitely beautiful and peaceful. Um, so the challenge, before we head off for our Twin Hearts meditation that we'll be doing over on Zoom, Adrian says it looks beautiful. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful place. Rick, Atma Namaste, good to have you on. So again, the challenge is very simple for today. Challenge number 47, asking yourself three questions. So you set the timer on your iPhone or your Android phone <clears throat> for 15 minutes. And you ask yourself the question, what would world peace look like? Why haven't we achieved world peace? And what are the things that we can do to move in the direction of world peace? So it's activating the upper chakras, the heart chakra and above for today's challenge. Challenge number 47. And uh, if you run over 15 minutes, not a big deal. David, I'm going to stay. Not a big deal. It's all that in a bag of chips. So um, let me know. 
And then we're going to be doing our challenge in the next 15, I'm sorry, the Twin Hearts Meditation in the next 15 minutes. And we'll be doing it on site right now. And uh, looking forward to serving you guys over there. So we'll have the, if you're watching this live on Facebook, the link for the meditation is below this video. If you're watching it above, or uh, if you're watching it now, I'll also place the link for the meditation above this video. And we'd love to have you. It's a 45 minute experience, a little bit of a lecture, some meditation, and some transformation. So looking forward to serving you guys over there. This is Christian Long, Life Enhancement Consultant, wishing you a beautiful day, a beautiful week, and a beautiful life. Atma, namaste. Bye-bye.